Hi friends, MD Vegan. I make a very quick and easy salad today with one of my favorite ingredients at all, it's red beet. Uh, it grows under the earth. There are three food categories you can say. What is under the earth, what grows on the earth, and was what grows up, like the berries. Yeah. <laughs> They're all different. And in the earth here, the beet, the beet is known for this um, harsh, sometimes harsh earth and flavor, but it is so amazing. It can, if you combine it, for example, with sweet and sour fruit, it can um, turn into the amazing, most amazing flavors I've never uh, tasted before. Really, it is amazing. That's why I'm so fascinated, not talking about the health benefits. It has huge health benefits. If you eat beet, for example, or drink beet juice, or eat an hour or two hours or so before a workout, you can really uh, measure it and you have a greater performance because then you can store so much more oxygen in the blood and so more, many more things. Yeah. So I do now, I just have an easy way uh, to make a beet salad. Yeah. Very easy. Um, and all I need to do here, I have my salad bowl. I have a grater here, just a hand grater, you see. I take this part not the small ones, this part. I tried other ways to break a beet, but I always think I came back to this one. It's, it's the easiest way and the best way. Yeah. I just go on, I'll just continue, I just go like this. You see? Very simple. Yeah. Um, be a little careful. The beet is flying around. <laughs> Some of the um, parts, and I don't want to get it on my, on my t-shirt. Because then I will stay there to, there's a, a dot. But otherwise it's pretty easy to grate it. Because the beets, um, if you get them from a the shop fresh, they are crunchy and um, firm. And you, you store them for a while, they get soft. And then um, they're not so easy to use anymore. They're really best when they are really crunchy and firm. And like this one is pretty okay. I can keep them in the fridge for a while, there's no problem. I put them in a little bag or so, and then in your vegetable case, and it keeps for a while. So always have some beet at home. I love the beet juices, and this is one of the easiest salads I make. Uh, similar as a, a carrot salad, it's the same. I can use the same grain for a carrot, carrot salad, and almost the same recipe. The only difference is, or you will see in a moment, that will be the dressing. But I come to that in a moment. For a carrot salad, I just put maybe uh, some lemon juice on top, and um, and that's it. You maybe some maybe another maybe another some walnuts or so. It's perfect together with um, with the carrots. But beet here, I would use a little bit of different um, dressing because of the beet and um, another ingredient to make it nicer. Yeah, this is a beet. Uh, usually you have to, to um, prepare the beet a little bit to make it more delicious. Here these gratings, it's a very nice way to prepare it. And it's of course nutrient dense and um, it keeps for a while. So very quick salad, you see. And I have an apple here. I grate it with the same grater. And um, that's all I have to do. Uh, you best grate the apple right before you put it into the salad, otherwise it can turn brown. Yeah? And to prevent this, you might um, put some lemon juice on the apple, some drops. That's, that's, that's basically it. Or uh, if you do it right away, you don't need anything. Just the apple. Perfect. And, a, and, a, and an onion here. It's very nice together with the beet, yeah? the crunchiness. And the flavor also, a little hot flavor of the onion, goes very nice with the beet. And that's all. Yeah, and this is the three ingredients, the main ingredients of the salad. I have one more to top, and that are, yeah, here, walnuts. Same as I would put, uh, for example, on a carrot salad, that is even easier. Yeah. Um, and yeah, the dressing now. And this is different from the carrot salad because um, the beet has a different flavor. A carrot, can, you can eat it from the hand, but the beet you wouldn't eat like that, like an apple. <laughs> it has this different flavor. But a very simple um, dressing is, and this is uh, what I 
usually do not use it that much. I have an oil here, and this is a pumpkin seed oil. Pumpkin seed oil is very dark, you see, dark, almost black flavor. I put it here, you see, not much, maybe two tablespoons or so in this dressing shaker. Very versatile tool. And some apple cider vinegar. This is a strong acidic flavor. It's a raw apple cider vinegar. It's very tasty. Yeah. Goes in here too. And pepper and salt and cumin seed here. Uh, all grated, of course. We have a, just the shaker here, no blender. I use the pepper ground and the cumin seed also ground. Uh, maybe a, table, a teaspoon, a small teaspoon and a little bit of salt. You see three spices. They also, also go into the dressing. And that's, that's all. Very easy. Now I, my shaker. I have a lid on top. Shake a little bit. And there is the, the dressing is ready. I will taste it, of course. Make sure it is good. Mm. Mm. Very good. Strong flavor. But that's very good for the for the beet. Usually, I said I don't use the the, beer, the pure oil. The oils are um, they have not much fiber left. It's just the almost empty calories. But sometimes I make an exception, using small amounts only. For example, for the beet salad, it's super healthy, and the oil. Uh, I guess it doesn't take away from it. Adds a wonderful flavor. It's pumpkin seed oil. It's an amazing oil. If you want to have oil at all, but usually, as I said, only small amounts, not really, um, as I did in earlier days, um, as a salad dressing base. Uh, I don't do that now, just as I said here, in exceptions. And this is what I have. Isn't that easy and quick? The beet salad. Very classic. You can try your own variety. If you don't like the pumpkin seed oil, it's a very strong flavor. You can take also any other oil. You have to make it easy or maybe no oil at all. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. If so, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe MD Vegan on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day. And find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter.